House Mayor Crystal Paco standing outside the Republican headquarters in Indigo with Chairman Mike Benito. So can you tell me about you know, the voter experience today? How was the primary election today? That was a lot of fun. All elections are fun, you know. Uh, get out there, you meet a lot of good people, a lot of good volunteers that are out there, you know. Uh, so it's really thrilling. Uh, today, I think the voter turnout was a little bit low, uh, as expected for a primary. Uh, but for us, though, it was good practice, you know, it was good practice for our our village organizations to get out there and work the voting polls, get our communication in between the, the voting polls and our headquarters down. Uh, so it was good. Uh, again, like I said, voter turnout was low, but we were happy with the what uh, of the people that came out. Uh, we felt we feel very uh, positive about the results that will come back, and we're excited to see it. Now, only only one Republican won't make you know the general election. Is it hard to get people out to the polls because of that? Yeah, I think a little bit. You know, I think a lot of people are saying, well, why are we doing this? You know, obviously, there was the race in the Democratic side for the delegates, right? Uh, but again, you know, it's a primary. You know, and, uh, uh, you know, anytime you have a chance to vote, people should get out there and exercise their right to vote. So, uh, again, it, it's, it's kind of historical. You know, people uh, for primaries, uh, they don't really come out as hard for the general election. Uh, but, you know, again, it's nice to see the people that are out there. So, you need Oh, yeah, we have a wonderful slate. You need to start from the top. You know, the Cowboys and Oreo uh, group has done a great job. Oh, Governor yeah. Calvin, and Lieutenant Governor Ray Sonorio. Uh, these past four years have been great. Thank you, everybody, for making your way down. These guys, you know, they took on us out of the island off of us. Uh, uh, really cool. You know, and we had a huge deficit. And now for the last few years, we're running on a third job. Job growth is there. We are hungry as well. Obviously, everybody's getting their tax refund. We got dreams. We have seen all the development that's happening in the island. Building hotels. We have dreams. One per person. Really positive things are happening. Uh, we have drinks, so one per person, please. We need to ensure that we get four more years. You know, we need, they have a lot more work to get done. You know, it took them three years to get us to this position, but it's a good position. Anyway, so we just need to you know, sit down and enjoy yourself. We have two channels. We have After three TVs, two really channels. Delegates, you know, so kind of monitor, you will see, and whatever uh, else. So we'll wait for the guys to turn the channel. All their life and their own business. Don't want to mess up. Uh, she's got a good message. You know, she wants to get out there. Turn the channel and really see how we're watching only the local weather. Just go and just dance. If you look at our slate. We have a very, very good dancing queen. Abba. I'll uh, give you a dollar if you can spell Abba backwards. Of, uh, uh, for the minority, uh, they work really, really well together. And they work very, very well with uh, the establishment. So just to reiterate what you have said today, you did go in a very, very strong uh, district. And, and well, I hope that you did not go to the page or turn the paper to start marking that like you like marking. If anything, I hope it's just the one side of the Republican side. They're not, you know, they're not. No more than 15 on the ballot, otherwise you'll be spoiled because we have 16, 1 6. So, uh, any which way, we're going to... Back to your studio.